which is quickest in a drag race? A Tesla Model S Plaid, a Ferrari SF90, or Porsche 911 Turbo S? Well, we're gonna find out, because I'm racing them over a standing quarter mile. Because I'm Matt Watson, and you're watching Car Wow. Buy, sell, car, wow. Now let me tell you about this Tesla Model S Plaid. It has three electric motors, one on the front axle and two on the rear axle. Combined, they put out 1,020 horsepower and 1,420 newton meters of torque. This car is quite heavy though. It weighs 2.2 tons, plus it's rather expensive. It costs 113,000 pounds. It's been lent to us by Lautlos Performance in Germany. Apparently that means silent performance. I probably butchered the pronunciation really badly. Anyway, thanks to them because they drove all the way from Stuttgart yesterday to be here today. Let's check out that SF90 and we're going to go to Carwow's Nick. Hello Carwow Nick, how are you? I'm doing especially well today Matt. I'm in a Ferrari. This doesn't happen very often. Yeah, I thought I'd you know let you have a go in a lovely SF90 because it's really quick. It's the benchmark for supercar performance. But Nick, have you done your homework? Do you know the stats on that car? So this has a four liter twin turbo V8 and three electric motors. So two at the front, one at the back. Combined, they make a thousand horsepower, 800 newton meters of torque, which is a lot in a car that according to Ferrari weighs 1,570 kilos. It also costs quite a lot. It's 380,000 pounds, this car. Well, that's the starting price of that car. That one you've got there is probably more because of the paint and so on and so forth. However, I want to say a huge thanks to Always Turn Left, who lent us that car. Thanks for lending us your car. I think the weight of that is also a lot more because Ferrari and Lamborghini, for some reason, quote dry weight, don't they? They certainly do. And dry weight would leave you with a car with no oil and no fuel. So it'd be, uh, well, you'd be able to drive it in EV mode, I guess, for a short while. But yeah, pointless weight. Really? That car's 1,700 kilos, isn't it? To be fair, Ferrari aren't the only ones that are kind of massaging their figures. Tesla, when they're quoting acceleration figures, use something known as foot rollout. So they don't start measuring the time until the car has already moved one foot. We don't do that here on CarWow. We start measuring the time the moment the car moves. Anyway, let's find out about the Porsche. Hello, CarWow's Rory. Do you know the figures on your car? Hey Matt, yeah. So it has a 3.8 litre twin turbo flat six, produces 650 horsepower, 800 newton meters of torque, which goes to all four wheels via this eight speed dual clutch gearbox. Porsche says it weighs 1,640 kilograms and it starts at 180,000 pounds. Do you know what Rory? You just reminded me of something that Nick forgot. What's the gearbox in that Ferrari? No 100% for me on that homework. Yeah, the gearbox, eight speed, twin clutch gearbox. You got that bit right in the end. So yeah, you've been downgraded. It's a B plus instead of an A, which is what Rory got. Congratulations, Rory. You're my favorite. Teacher's pet. Anyway, if you want to compare these cars stats side by side, just pause the video now. Anyway, if you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon to turn your notifications on. That way you won't miss our next upload, which is gonna be really cool. I'm filming it later today and it involves this car again, but you won't believe what we're putting up against. So make sure you're subscribed, okay? Now before we race, we're gonna do the customary car wire sound check. So I'm actually gonna let the Ferrari go first. Nick, let's have a listen to your V8. <laughs> That sounds pretty good. Let's have a listen, Rory, to your flat six. Okay, that sounds pretty ungreat. Now let's have a listen to this Tesla. Toy box, boom box. Yeah, that's about as funny as SpaceX blowing up. If you're thinking about changing your car, you can do it through CarWow. Not only can you buy your next car new or used through CarWow, you can sell your current car as well by just uploading some photos, giving a brief description, then dealers all across the country will bid on your car. It's dead easy. Anyway, if you'd like to do that now, click on the pop-out banner up there or follow the link in the description below. Alternatively, you can do it at a later date by simply Googling Help Me CarWow and we will help you change your car. Anyway, let's race. Let's just do another one of these. This is my favorite. Ha 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 ha. Three, two, one. Whoa, it's like wheeling. It wasn't putting its power down then. Oh, I'm ahead of the Tesla. 
That turbo has got away better than everyone else. And this is so close on the line. Whoa! I tell you what, you cannot fault that Turbo S for its ability to launch. It hooked. The way it hooks up is incredible. It did really, really well there. Ferrari, what was your launch like? Launch was, well, I thought the launch was brilliant. And then I looked to my right and I saw that Turbo S ahead of me, which should be impossible, but pulled him in, got ahead of you, and oh, that was close at the line, wasn't it? This didn't hook up properly. Cold tires, it can do better. And I reckon if I get the proper launch that this can do, I'm definitely going to have you. Mom. Oh, it's still struggling for blooming traction. Where's that Ferrari? The Ferrari's dropped. Focus! Yes! It was a very poor launch. Scrabbling all the way through first gear, shifting to second, still spinning in second gear. Not good at all. Porsche, what about you? Was that as good as your first launch? Yeah, that was as good as the first launch. It's all very easy. You just take your foot off the brake, really. This delivered. I mean, it really went crazy there. That was so good. Right, one each then, Ferrari. Best two out of three, let's do it. Tesla. That was much better. Come on, I've got it. That is an incredible launch. That time is amazing. Woohoo! Tell me, Ferrari, your launch was decent. My launch was molto bene that time. Very happy. Well, not as happy as if I'd beaten you, but happy with this performance. And Porsche, what was your launch like? It's just slightly more dither after coming off the brake that time. But whatever happened, neither of you were going to beat this because the time is incredible. I'm going to reveal it now. And remember, no foot roll out here. So then what exactly happened? Well, the Tesla won, completing the standing quarter mile in 9.7 seconds. The Ferrari took 9.9 .9 seconds, while the Porsche completed the standing quarter mile in 10.3 seconds. Now we have a rolling race from 40 miles an hour. We're gonna be in second gear, should be nice in their power bands. I'm always in my power band. Um, well, I've got kilometers an hour, what's 40? Is that 50, 55? We're about 40 miles an hour, Porsche. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one, go. That Ferrari ain't gonna catch me. In fact, I'm gapping him. Oh my God, Ferrari, you got utterly, utterly dicked on. I couldn't keep up. And Porsche, what's your excuse? Just didn't have the power, I bet. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, this car is so fast by any measure, but I just watched you two walk away again. Oh. Final challenge, we're going to brake test from 100 miles an hour, see which car will stop in the shortest distance. Teslas are famous for having rubbish brakes. Porsche is famous for having brilliant brakes. Ferrari is famous for braking. <laughs> They're not really. Anyway, let's do this. If you'd rather watch another crazy drag race with the Ferrari SF90, Click on the pop-out banner up there, I'll find the link in the description below. If not, get ready for the brake test. Hopefully this will stop before the end of the runway. Here we go, here comes the line. I am shocked at that. I thought this would have been so much worse than the Ferrari and the Porsche. Granted the Porsche is like a car's length behind, but the Ferrari is pretty close. I was pushing that pedal so hard, I swear I heard a creak from the footwell. <laughs> that Tesla, that's a surprise. It is a surprise. But the thing is, while it stopped okay on this one occasion, I think if we did this again, and then again, and then again, I'd get a little warning on the dash that says brakes overheating. In fact, earlier I got that little warning and I wasn't braking too hard, I just did multiple braking. So I reckon if we run this again, the distance is gonna be greater. Shall we give it a go? Anything that gives me a chance to do better, I'm gonna say yes. Get up to 
160 kilometers an hour again. Here we are, here comes the line. That's more like it. I've got it, brakes too hot, braking performance reduced. And I've noticed the distance between the Ferrari has increased. The bizarrely the distance, oops, I pressed the horn accidentally because of the stupid location of the horn. I don't think the Porsche did quite so well that time. No, I mean, from in here, I pressed the pedal just as hard, but it seems, yeah, the Ferrari did better this time. Now I would like to run that test again, but I won't because you might be getting a little bit bored, but I don't think the car wants to do it. Let's just leave it there. Anyway, so impressed by the performance of this car and on single braking requirements, it stops pretty blooming well. It's just that if you're driving it fast on a canyon road, you are gonna overheat those brakes really quickly. Anyway, if you'd like to buy a Tesla through CarWow, you can do. Click on the pop-out banner up there or follow a link in the description below to check out the cars. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like. Let me know which of these three cars you think is the best in the comments below. Click on those windows there for some more videos and on that box there to go to CarWow to sell your car the easy way. Just upload some photos, give a brief description, then dealers all across the country will bid on your car. Choose a high stopper, they'll come to your house, take the car away, put the money into your account. It's easy. Thanks for watching.